Did you know that some common household plants can be harmful to your pets? Yes, that's right. Our homes and gardens, while being sanctuaries of beauty and tranquility, may unknowingly harbor potential threats to our furry companions. While we revel in the beauty and benefits of our green friends, it's crucial to remember that not all plants are pet friendly. Some can cause mild discomfort, while others can lead to severe health issues, or in extreme cases, can even be fatal. In this video, we'll navigate the green maze together, identifying common household and garden plants that could pose a risk to your pets. From the seemingly innocent ivy to the beautiful but potentially harmful bird of paradise, we'll delve into the details, helping you create a safe and pet-friendly environment. So sit back and get ready to be enlightened. Stay tuned to learn about the common plants that can harm your pets. First on our list is ivy, a beautiful plant that can be harmful to your pets. This stunning indoor and outdoor plant, known scientifically as Hedera helix, is a crowd pleaser for its verdant leaves and ability to add a touch of nature to any space. However, despite its beauty, ivy can be a hidden danger to your furry friends. Ingestion of ivy leaves by pets can lead to a variety of distressing symptoms. These may include vomiting and diarrhea, which are unpleasant for both the pet and the owner. More worryingly, ivy can also cause tremors, a sign of neurological distress, and respiratory decompensations, a serious condition that can lead to difficulties in breathing. In severe cases where large quantities are ingested, ivy can even prove fatal to pets. Therefore, while ivy might be attractive from a horticultural perspective, it's crucial to consider the potential risks to your pets. Now let's move on to the next plant. Next up is the philodendron, a popular houseplant that can cause problems for your pets. The philodendron, more specifically known as Monstera deliciosa, might be a favorite for your indoor jungle, but it's not so friendly to our feline friends. Ingesting this plant can lead to a host of health issues for cats and, to a lesser extent, dogs. It starts with the digestive system. If your pet nibbles on the leaves, they're likely to experience abdominal pain and inflammation. This discomfort can lead to a lack of appetite and a general feeling of malaise, but it doesn't stop there. In some cases, the philodendron can cause acute nephritis, a serious kidney condition that can lead to renal failure. This calls for immediate intervention as it can be a life-threatening situation. So while the philodendron might be an aesthetically pleasing addition to your home, it's worth considering the potential risks to your pets. Uh, let's proceed to the next plant. Aloe vera, a plant with healing abilities for humans, can be harmful to your pets. This succulent plant, known for its use in soothing burns and skin irritations in humans, hides a secret danger for our four-legged friends. The culprit is the white sap contained within the plant's leaves. When cut open, this sap is easily visible and unfortunately toxic to both cats and dogs. Interestingly enough, the surrounding gel-like substance is harmless. It's the sap that's the problem. If ingested, the white sap can wreak havoc on your pet's digestive system. The symptoms to watch out for include vomiting and diarrhea. These signs are clear indicators that your pet may have ingested something harmful. Remember, while aloe vera may be beneficial for us, it's not the same case for our pets. Always ensure the safety of your furry friends by keeping potentially toxic plants out of their reach. Next, we'll discuss another common house plant, a Diefenbachia. A beautiful evergreen house plant can be toxic to your pets. This plant, also known as the dumb cane, is a member of the Arachii family and is a common choice for indoor decoration. However, its allure can be deceiving. The roots, leaves and stem of Diefenbachia contain toxic substances such as calcium oxalate latex and oxalic acid. If your curious pet decides to take a nibble, they may experience a variety of symptoms. Swelling of the mouth is common, making it difficult for them to swallow or even breathe. This may be followed by nausea, leading to vomiting and diarrhea. In severe cases, the ingestion of Defenbachia can even result in arrhythmias or, very rarely, death. It is essential to keep this plant out of reach of our four-legged friends to prevent any unfortunate incidents. Now let's move on to a plant that's often found in parks and gardens. Uh, oleander, an evergreen shrub, can be very toxic to both you and your pets. Frequently chosen for its beauty to adorn parks and gardens, this plant carries a hidden danger that not everyone is aware of. 
It's not only toxic to our four-legged friends, but to us humans as well. The oleander plant contains potent toxins, which can have serious effects if ingested by your pets. Symptoms can range from gastrointestinal issues such as vomiting and diarrhea, to more severe effects like abnormal heart function, seizures, and even death. It's important to note that even a small amount of this plant can be lethal, so if you're out walking your pet and they show interest in an oleander plant, it's best to steer clear. It's a plant that's as dangerous as it is beautiful. And remember, these toxins can affect us too, so careful handling is advised for everyone's safety. Let's continue with a beautiful flower that can be harmful to pets. The bird of paradise, a beautiful flower, can be harmful if ingested by your pets. This striking plant, known for its vibrant colors and unique shape, is part of the Strelitzia C family and originates from South Africa. Despite its beauty, it's not all sunshine and rainbows when it comes to our furry friends. If your pet happens to nibble on this plant, they might find themselves feeling quite unwell. Symptoms may include drowsiness, a clear sign that your pet isn't feeling their best, but it doesn't stop there. Your pet might also experience nausea, leading them to lose their appetite. An unusual behavior for most pets. Worse still, they might end up vomiting, a distressing symptom for both you and your pet. So while the bird of paradise might look like a wonderful addition to your home or garden, remember to consider the potential risks to your pets. Next, we'll discuss a plant that's popular during the holiday season. The poinsettia, a festive plant, can cause mild but notable side effects in your pets. This plant, known for its vibrant red color, is a staple in many homes during the holiday season. While it adds a lovely touch of Christmas cheer, it's important to know that it may not be the best companion for your furry friends. You see, the poinsettia contains a very stinging latex. If your pet happens to ingest some, they could experience a variety of symptoms. This could include swelling and a burning sensation, which might be particularly uncomfortable. Additionally, they could also experience gastrointestinal problems like vomiting and diarrhea. While these side effects are generally mild, it's still important to keep an eye on your pet and consult a vet if they do ingest any part of the poinsettia. After all, we want the holiday season to be jolly for everyone in the family, including our four-legged members. Let's move on to another common household plant. Pothos, a popular house plant, can cause gastrointestinal upset and mouth pain in your pets. This evergreen vine, native to the Solomon Islands, is a popular choice for indoor decoration due to its hardiness and aesthetic appeal. However, its glossy heart-shaped leaves, while beautiful, contain a threat to our furry friends. When ingested by pets, the insoluble calcium oxalates found in the leaves of this plant can cause a range of symptoms. These can include drooling, vomiting, decreased appetite, and oral irritation. In severe cases, the pet may even experience difficulty swallowing. It's important it's important to remember that while pothos is a great addition to your indoor greenery, it's best to keep it out of reach of curious cats and dogs. If you suspect your pet has ingested this plant, it's crucial to contact a veterinarian immediately. Next, we'll discuss an outdoor plant that can be harmful to your pets. As we've discussed, several common plants can be harmful to your pets. We've learned that nature, as beautiful and beneficial as it may be, can pose serious risks to our four-legged friends. From indoor plants like ivy and philodendron to outdoor beauties like oleander and jasmine, the danger lurks in many shapes and forms. The vibrant ivy often adorning our walls and gardens can, if ingested, lead to unsettling symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea, tremors, and respiratory issues in our pets. Philodendron, popular for its aesthetic appeal, can cause digestive problems, abdominal pain and inflammation, and in severe cases can lead to acute nephritis with consequent renal failure. Aloe vera, a plant admired for its healing capabilities, hides a toxic secret in its white sap, which can upset your pet's digestive system. Diffenbachia, another attractive indoor plant, contains toxic substances in its roots, leaves and stem, leading to symptoms like mouth swelling, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Oleander, commonly used to beautify parks and gardens, is highly toxic, and even a small amount ingested can be fatal. Bird of Paradise, with its stunning flowers, can cause drowsiness, nausea, and vomiting if consumed by your pet. Poinsettia, a holiday favorite, contains a stinging latex that can cause discomfort like swelling, burning, vomiting, and diarrhea. 
The resilient pothos can cause gastrointestinal upset and mouth pain if ingested by your pet. Jasmine, known for its small yellow flowers, can cause muscle weakness and breathing difficulties, while the dragon tree can lead to vomiting, depression and anorexia. These are just a few examples of the many plants that can pose a threat to the well-being of our pets. But fear not, knowledge is power. By being aware of these plants, you can ensure a safer environment for your pets. It is our responsibility as pet owners to create a safe and comfortable space for our furry friends. And awareness is the first step towards that. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay safe. Thanks for watching.